Topping our news on this Thursday night, another terrifying day for anyone affiliated with Tuscaloosa City Schools as two separate threats cause chaos and disruption in their daily operations. WVUA 23's Chelsea Barton joins us live from Central High School where students and teachers spend much of their day under heightened alert. Chelsea, what happened? Well, Mike, this comes just days after two students actually did bring guns to campus here at Central High School and just up the road at West Lawn Middle School. So obviously these threats today were taken very seriously. The threat at Central High School today stemmed from a disturbing social media post made online. Take a look at it. It says I'm shooting up Central School today at 1:30. Beware. The threat was made from an account called Central Hose 123 on social media. The threat put the school on what's called a heightened alert where students actually are able to move throughout the school buildings and their parents can come and check them out of school. Hundreds did so today in light of this threat. It wasn't until around two this afternoon that officials determined there was no merit to that online threat and the heightened alert was lifted at that point. We spoke with students as they were checking out of school today. Here's what one of them had to say about the frightening situation. Um, I was actually, uh, I was actually scared because, you know, you know, I didn't know what was going on and, um, you know, it was all on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, everyone posted it and everyone was like on lockdown and they was terrified. Tuscaloosa City School Superintendent Dr. Mike Daria met with the me media this afternoon after the all clear was given here at Central High School. He says that his staff is going to be working with Tuscaloosa Police Department in the days to come as their school system is on spring break on ways to keep things like this from recurring. But Daria says the answer to that question could begin at home. If parents are hearing this at home, we need to know about it. Um, an adult in the school needs to receive it and then respond to it so that we can make sure we take care of that child. Every student in our school system deserves to feel safe at school. And if that's not happening, we need to know. The threat here at Central High School today did not stand alone. There was actually another situation at Paul W. Bryant High School, also a Tuscaloosa City School today. They actually went on lockdown only for about 10 minutes today after a report of a weapon on school campus was made. Thankfully, Tuscaloosa Police Department was able to determine very quickly that there was no merit to that rumor. Now, today in that press conference as well, Dr. Daria told us that many of the city schools do have metal detectors in place, but they are not always in use. So we know that will be a topic in those meetings between Tuscaloosa City Schools and Tuscaloosa Police Department here in the days to come. For now, we're live in Tuscaloosa at Central High School. I'm Chelsea Barton, WVUA 23 News. What a busy day for our schools, Chelsea. Thank you.